Hey Aries, welcome to your reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. To my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. I'll leave information for you to get my services and personal readings in the description box, okay guys? Never in a comment, so go ahead and check that out there. And let's see what the message is for Aries. Okay, I've already posted all the July readings, so go ahead and check them out on the channel. The Empress, time to take action. The power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. High Priestess, okay. Trust in your intuition, careful reflection before taking action. Insight that comes through meditation. Um, they seem to be in uh, two different modes here. Um, still a queen though, right? Still like very noble you are. So, but let's see, this king of summers here. A romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice that comes from the heart. Getting involved in cultural or creative and de endeavours. Um, so somebody is coming towards you here. It's like they're ready for your love. Um, but you're being guided to trust your intuition don't rush um but be creative with how you work on this relationship because i feel that will set the tone for the future right so let's see here it, it does say that you can have a life of abundance with this person but you're being asked to trust your intuition the moon intuition again okay um your intuition is trying to tell you something here uh will be revealed to you you could probably pick it up before the person says it somebody could have secret feelings for you or keeping their feelings to themselves about you the king of cups is somebody who loves very deeply so this person has really deep feelings for you um your intuition might have told you look they love me i know they love me um it's them that's fighting it not me um but i feel like it's about to be revealed uh six of wands now this is somebody being attracted to you taking notice of you seeing your worth seeing your abundance as the emperor this is somebody who's going to start chasing you so whether they're saying it or not it at this time it doesn't really matter if your intuition is telling you this person likes me or this person loves me or you know um, I like them too. Allow them to come towards you because you are the empress. And I guess that's why the high priestess wants you to slow down. Your intuition's like, okay, you, you know they like you. Don't go to them. That's not an empress move, right? And just because I say empress or emperor or king or queen, it doesn't really matter. It's just the sexes that I'm referring to. The lovers. Wow, this is somebody really powerful um, going to be revealed to you now. Somebody... Um, you're destined to be with you might already know but the thing is they are now I guess coming towards you um, and are about to reveal their feelings for you this is interesting four of swords um, so you might have had to heal from another relationship or they might ha have had to before coming towards you they wanted to know it was right they wanted to I feel like they probably saw signs or if this is you, you were seeing signs, um, your intuition was telling you this person's the one, um, everything about them was drawing you to them. But there's there was this holding back a little bit. So if, even if you was getting to know somebody or in love with somebody and they was holding back something, your intuition told you they was holding back something. I feel almost they were scared to reveal once these once they felt this this lover's connection it scared them they become fearful here and they wanted to protect themselves five of swords a lose-lose situation if somebody feels something for you but doesn't say it right it can feel like well if they don't say it what's the point or if they don't express themselves what's the point um probably when mercury goes retrograde again they will return but I feel like you need to understand their language of love. How they say, I love you and how you say, I love you might be different. They might put it in actions, words, um, in action, in words. You know, like your intuition is going to be better than what your mind or your 3D world is telling you right now. 
So trust that intuition above everything. The magician. This person will manifest in your life. You're like a magnet for them now. But this person is manifesting into your life. This is like calling in your soulmate because of that Empress energy. And this is why I tell you, don't chase. Attract. Okay? You are a powerful manifester right now. And you are attracting the one. Okay? Whether this is the person you want to spend their life with, that might be you know, determined later on. But this person is ready for your love now and is ready to come into your life. They're ready to speak up finally. Queen of Swords, there's that speech, right? There's that communication. Um, once healed, you'll ascend. So you might have already experienced some sort of relationship, obviously most people have in their life, that you had to heal from. But this would have been a different kind of relationship where... Um, it really changed you this time on a cellular level. So even your appearance could have changed and things like that, okay? This really ascended you, gave you this spiritual knowledge. So this is why your intuition is so powerful right now and it's showing up in the high priestess and uh, the moon there. Strong indications of Aries, Scorpio, um, Pisces here, um, but all the signs will generally come out but this is saying there's something about this person that, I don't know here, there's just something about them that you'll know instantly, you'll know this is the person on your mind, this is the person in your thoughts. Five of Cups, this is the person in your dreams, your emotions that you're missing, that you're longing for. So if you haven't met them yet, this is the love you're longing for, you're seeking. They're about to express this. These fives indicate changes from this lack to abundance. Okay, you've got to allow it. You've overcome whatever you was healing. So allow this situation to happen now. Attract, don't chase, okay? Um, Ten of Wands, there you go. Ends of Cycles. The next after the Ten of Wands is the Ace of Wands where the communication comes in. So this burden ends, this trouble, this long road and journey that you've been on here is now being transformed with these fives and this ten. Because you've done the ascension, you've done the healing, now what you're attracting in is victory, is a lover, a divine partner. There they are, um, coming towards you very quickly actually. Um, like I say, for some this might be Libra season, but this is somebody coming forward very quickly. Somebody very attractive, somebody very abundant. Knights are about action. So this is just saying that they will act towards you. You don't need to chase. You don't need to worry. You don't need to overthink. This person is being attracted towards you. I feel like there's some of you who have overcome this lesson and aren't even looking for love right now. But that's how it goes, right? This person, uh, you could be thinking like, I'm about to meet somebody. I don't even, there's nobody even on my radar. I don't know why these thoughts are coming into my mind. Um, but they're coming nonetheless, right? And what this will do is um, pull them in quicker. And this person seems to be seeking you almost. Even if you don't know them, this person is seeking you. They're seeking their soulmate. They're hearing your soul's call. Let's see here with the romance angels what extra messages there is here for aries make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so this person is being guided towards you here make the effort get your makeup on get to barbers get that fade done <laughs> get a babysitter for kids <laughs> I'm just joking with you guys. Uh, children, your love life is being affected by children at the moment. So it may be um, that, you know, you don't have a babysitter, like I said. Maybe you, your grown children are having problems and need you right now. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I feel if you have grown children, they will be coming to you uh, this time and they feel they have a big problem. Um, but when they've talk to you about it they see it's something that can be easily overcome um uh, this is somebody communicating with somebody new like getting to know each other do you want kids do you you know where do you live and things like that 
um, forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments Aries so let the burden go and attract really focus on what it is you want maybe even write down um, some goals um, a vision board here because you're attracting in a lot with that magician right in the center of your reading right now I would really want to focus um, what I'm attracting because with these fives you can attract low vibration things as well okay good luck guys